This is truly holy ground. If you're interested in the history of life and where we came from, where people came from, and cows and Labrador retrievers and alligators, this, the Arroyo Formation, the Texas Redbeds, is where you begin to understand. Here, about 300 million years ago, the land ecosystem this is a baby was created on. You had the first large animals to eat plants. The very first. Plants had been around for a long time, but no one was eating them. Nobody big. And here, at the same time, the first large top predator, apex predator, evolved. Dimetrodon, with great big saw-edged teeth like stick knives. So you put together then the, the essential elements of nature right here, 300 million years ago. For most of its history, Texas has been covered by salt water, shallow salt water. And that's why we have so many wonderful fossils that accumulated in the bottom of, of the ocean. Every once in a while, the seas would recede southward, exposing deltas, a little like the Mississippi Delta, but drier. And these red beds I'm standing on that are so full of fossil bones were created on these deltas where the the uh, dawn herbivores would waddle around eating plants and the dawn carnivores would waddle around chasing the herbivores, so waddler chasing waddler. And they would die and they would be buried in the rainy season with layers of mud, red mud, time and time and time and time again for 20 million years and that gives us the Texas Redbed story. The best in the world. These animals existed all over the world. But they left their record best right here in Texas. And the Royal Formation is famous for the biggest and best Dimetrodon, the finback guy. Lizard-like thing, small brain, small heart, small lungs, slow moving, but if you know where to look in the head and, and the ankle, you can see the hints of us. Just the beginning of the evolution towards a warm-blooded, hairy, big-brained, big-hearted, big-lunged, fast-moving thing. Just the beginning. But by 1910, it was textbook. By 1910, the evidence had accumulated and the scientists looked at the skulls and the ankles and the feet and said, yes, Texas is where it began. We can understand the flowering of higher animals, big-brained animals, smart animals, social animals in these lowly creatures of, of Texas. If you go all over the world, find a great museum, you will find fossils from this bone bed, from the Craddock Ranch, from North Central Texas. Go to London, there are Texas red bed fossils. Go to Berlin, Texas red bed fossils. Paris, Chicago, um, the Carnegie Museum in Pittsburgh, the museum at Harvard, at Yale, the Smithsonian has this magnificent finback skeleton dug from right behind me. We, you can see the hole where it came in 1917, and 100 million people have seen that great finback. So this, uh, this ranch, this bone bed, has inspired people of every language, of every nation of inquiring minds, people who want to know where they came from.